one of my great desires is to be able to live during the time of Jesus and sit at the feet of Jesus and just learn from him. You know, he's a great teacher. Uh, one, one thing why he's a good teacher is because he knows very well his audience, okay? He knows that not a lot of his uh, aud audience are highly educated. That's why when he teaches, he uses simple terms. He uses every, everyday life or things or situations to teach his, the people, right? And a very good example of that is that he uses the example of figs. During winter, figs are dead. They're dead during winter. But when, when spring comes, okay, the twigs buds with new life. And he's teaching this because he's teaching that Christ, as Christians, we will go through the winter of discontent and experience the agony of apparent defeat before we experience that victory that we're all longing for, right? And Jesus himself went through that, like the Paschal mystery, the passage from death to life. And that's, as Christians, we're going to go through that also. And one good example are those who are experiencing uh, addiction, okay? For them, as they let go of the, 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 the substance that, that they're addicted to, they go through a withdrawal stage. And for them, as they go through that withdrawal stage, it's like dying. It's like, they, they, it's like they're not going to survive. But as they persevere and work on the recovery, they experience life. It's also the same with us. As we let go of sin, it's as if that we're going to die. But there's really a dying to self that is happening, right? There's a dying to self that is happening. But if we persevere and follow the will of God, we will experience life. When, when we're going through this kind of withdrawal from addiction or from sin, as I've said, it's as if, it's as if that we're dying. The thing that we need to hold on to is the Word of God. In our gospel today, it says, Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. In the second letter of, uh, of Paul to Timothy, it says there, This saying is true. If we have died with him, we will live with him. Right? So that's the promise of our Lord. That if we die with him in our sin, we will live with him in the resurrection.